Hello everybody, welcome back. My name is Sandra. Thank you so much for joining me today. So I am sharing my jeans agenda, February subscription box with you. And I did get this Friday. I'm filming this video Sunday night because I finally found some quiet time. My daughter's in the bath. My baby is attempting to go to sleep and my son is upstairs in his room. So perfect timing. So I already opened up everything. One of my biggest pet peeves when it comes to subscription boxes, and it's not just Jean's Agenda, it's any company, is all of the packaging involved. It drives me completely bonkers. One of the biggest things is washi tape packaging. I know they have to, but it drives me crazy. And all of these little tidbits are all put into separate pieces of plastic. And I just think that it would be so much well served to the environment and uh, cost-wise and for us having to open it, if they could put it all into one giant piece of plastic, so it saves a little bit. But, you know, I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. So here we are. I've already un unboxed everything, but we're going to show you the goodies. And I guess, you know what, like, honestly, you guys, if you wanted to go see um, the unboxing, you could just check out Jean's Agenda. But part of what I like to do um, is give my opinions on the products and how I'm going to use them or if I'm going to use them or if I feel like I don't have a very good use for them. I like to kind of talk about that too because for the average person, um, you know, it would be nice to, to know how to use these things, right? Especially with a fellow planner. So um, that's what I, I like to kind of give a little bit of an opinion. And sometimes my opinions, you know, I mean, take it with a grain of salt. Everybody has their own opinion. Um, so you have to really make up the choice whether to join a subscription box. That's up to you. But at the same time, um, I don't know. It, it, like, of course, the, <clears throat> the person who's selling the product is going to be rave about it and be happy about it and um, want other people to be happy about it. But there are some things that you don't always use and some things that you don't like. And I think it should be okay uh, to share that information. So... Yeah, absolutely. I think it's very worthwhile information for the, the subscription service company to have because they need to know what their customers like and what they don't like. So that being said, we're going to start with this washi tape because I'm already holding it. So why not? Um, it kind of goes along with the whole theme. Oh, and sorry, don't mind my fingers. I cut my nails because it's easier to type. And I have, my skin is dry, because <laughs> like bath after bath after bath. And I was playing with my fountain pen today and got a mess all over my fingers. So um, this kind of goes with the box. It's kind of like a French theme. So it's got this French writing, kind of like the dashboard, if you have seen that or own that. Um, swashy tape with French writing. So I will try it out. Maybe I'll do it in my next week's spread. And then the pen. So I like the color of this pen. I do. It's a friction pen, a zone technology, friction ball pen, um, 0.5. And I don't like the ink. Like I like the idea of being able to erase your ink. I like that because you can move stuff in your planner without using having to use whiteout. But the thing I don't like about it is I'm pretty particular on how a pen writes and I like the 0.7 really opaque dark black gel ink. I'll show you what I'm talking about like that and this pen I'll show you exactly how it writes it doesn't have a cap on it or anything I write the same thing 10 minute tidy you can see it has not the same the same like look at all and I, I hate that I really do so this, I don't know, this would come in handy, I guess, if if this is what you're used to and you like to be able to erase your work, um, you know, if you have to or move things around in your planner like some people like to do. Um, honestly, I usually just put a line through it if something changes um, because it shows like for some reason I wrote that there and there's a purpose for it. So I cross it out if it didn't, like if it, if it doesn't need to be done, I just cancel it, I cross it out. Um, but... I guess the most important spot that I would use something like that would be like the future log because I don't have that much space there. But I just go ahead and use white out. So, but I mean, I do like the, the color. I love the color and I actually do really like this pen. I like the shape of it. And if you are into Fiction Ballpoint pens, you'd love this pen. Okay, so then I've got the little quote cards. This says live in the now. This says, it's not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. And it's funny because I use that exact same quote in my bullet journal setup that I just did for February without even realizing that this was in Jane's agenda this month. 
So here is the page finder. They have made them a little bit wider than normal, um, which I actually like. It's very similar to the same size as Christmas that they had. So it's a leopard print. Um, it doesn't really have touches of pink in there at all. It's uh, more brown and black and gray, but I'm pretty sure I still have the plastic on this, but I'm just gonna leave it on for now. Okay, this is probably my favorite thing in this entire box. I mean, is that sad or what? Um, but I love like any little like translucent sticky notes. This is the, um, you can't use gel on this. It'll just rub right off. So you have to use the, like an oil-based pen. Um, so just so you know, this is the thank you card, but I love that. So again, it says February, 2024. So you can only use it for this month. That's it. Unless you were to just like cross that out somehow, but it's a nice shiny like surface. So you probably wouldn't want to ruin it. Um, but yeah, I'll probably just stick this in my pocket in my planner for this month and that'll be it. Okay, another thing, these little stickers, apparently people have been asking for stickers from Jane's Agenda. I wouldn't mind stickers. I love having like dot icons for my monthly calendar. These ones, it says like unplug stickers and honestly, like I can't be unplugged. <laughs> I'm working on my computer 24 seven, like every single day. So I need to always be plugged in. Um, and I don't really do social media. I don't really, um, browse and waste hours and hours of my time. So I don't really need these. Uh, I just feel like, yeah, I feel like these are a little bit unnecessary if they had been like, um, you know, work or, um, you know, something, something to the nature of like being productive, maybe I would use them. Um, or if these were dot stickers for the month, I think that would come in handy. Okay, another thing that I think might come in handy, um, this is like a nice touch. I might actually, well, I already have a couple of pen pouches from various subscription boxes. This is the allegedly gray color um, of the same color planner that Jane's Agenda released a while ago now. And I, the one feature that I love about this, other than the fact that it's flat, because you can, you know, if your planner isn't really huge like mine, like, overfilled like mine you can stick it in the back of your planner um, or just put it in your bag if if you want another great purpose for these guys if you don't want to use it for your planner is to use it in your bag as a makeup bag um, because when I'm going out for example like say for example I'm going to my karaoke place I don't usually have to take that much makeup for touch-ups with me I usually have like a lip liner um my lip gloss or lipstick, whatever I'm using that night, and then maybe my powder um, and like maybe a concealer brush just to touch up. And that's pretty much it. So I'll put that in here and maybe like a little sample of perfume or something to touch up throughout the night. But that's probably what I would use this for. I think that's a great idea because I already have so many pen pouches and I don't think my drawers are going to hold anymore. So I think I would use this for a makeup bag. This is a great idea. All right, so we're getting down to the, the basic, like the, the paper products now. So this one here is a notebook, um, but this is a reflections journal. So at first when I was watching um, Jane's Agenda, I was like, okay, that's kind of cool. But then I'm looking at it and honestly, I don't really like journals or notebooks where there are lots of prompts. And to me, to me, this is a waste of a good notebook. I would have, I would have much preferred to have this really pretty pink notebook, just, you know, plain pages, ready to be filled up. But instead, there's morning reflections, midday check-in, evening reflections, overall reflections, and then a note section. And I'm more in tune with myself than I, I, I don't need to have this. This isn't something that I would use, and I don't have anybody in my life that would use it either. So unfortunately, something like this would go to waste. So, um, but I do, I really like the color of it. I like the, the concept is a good one for some people who enjoy those prompt notebooks, but even if it only gives you enough for one month, it just, then what do you do, right? Then you have to resort to a plain notebook in the first place, you have to go, like if, once you finish this and you want to continue the habit, you have to go to a different notebook, which you wouldn't have enough sheets in here once you're done, right? So yeah, I don't know. I feel like, I feel like I could do without this for sure. Okay. So one thing that I have actually been really enjoying, although I have to, um, I have to 
go in my planner and take out some old ones, especially maybe the winter ones, because I don't need them anymore. I would have to go in and out um, or maybe keep these in a different like binder maybe. Um, I like these like tips and um, methods, I guess. This one is um, practical tips to improve time management and productivity. So I like looking at stuff like this. I like reading it. This is actually a really good idea. I never really thought about this. I could use these as as um, pro probably like prompts for my blog. And I think I've already written quite a few blogs on these topics because I do really like productivity and time management um, topics. So I've probably um, written a lot of this stuff already. But uh, yeah, I, I think that would be a great idea for myself because I am a blog writer. I do have a blog and I really enjoy writing. So I think maybe I would use some of these as blog topics. Um, and then this one is a digital detox challenge. So it tells you how to like different ideas on how to digitally detox. So obviously like, um, you know, use a physical planner or notebook instead of a digital calendar. And yeah, like, I mean, basically just stop using devices, right? Today's time, you kind of, you can't really, you're always on your phone. Your cell phone is pretty much glued to your hip nowadays because most people don't have home telephones and if you're working and you work from home, you're on your computer all day. So you can't really digitally detox if you if you need your devices to work. So yeah, give or take, right? Um, and then this is um, inspiration and affirmations. So again, um, or journaling topics, right? So it says, I choose to be present in all my interactions. And then you could do a journaling topic on that. I think that's a great idea. But I, I have been enjoying these for multiple purposes. So whether it's a journaling prompt, whether it's something that I can write about in my blogs, or whether it's just something I can implement in my planning process. I like these a lot. Um, sometimes, I think there was one month, I can't remember if it was November, that they had included the pretty dashboard on the front and the back was like this. But most of the time they come with a plain back. But yeah, I've really been loving those. Okay, so for the inserts, this I was I was very confused when I watched Jean's agenda. Um, maybe I missed it because maybe I skimmed through that one. But this one is a uh, half letter on punch. That's the size I get. Um, subscription box special edition because it is a whole. What does it give you? It starts February first and goes till the end of June. So February, March, April, May, and June. So it gives you five months, five months of inserts. But the problem for me is that it's hourly appointment schedule and I don't do hourly time blocking. And it does start at five in the morning, which is great because it's when I wake up, but it only goes till nine and I go to bed at 11. So for me, this makes no sense. And I already have, um, like on my day on two pages and my Franklin planner, I already have something similar to this and I rarely ever use it. So um, I would have to see if my mom will be interested in this. I don't know if she will because she picked up a dollar store planner for herself who has a monthly and weekly layout. Um, so again, another, um, unfortunately, and this is like a lot of inserts, it's five months worth. Um, another thing from this box that I will not be using, um, which is very unfortunate because, uh, and that's really, the thing that happens with subscription boxes is that each month, like, you know, the company is catering to a wide range of people and some people love this and some people are, you know, each month it kind of depends what the products are. So I'm um, getting down to the dashboards. Now I think, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to be overly critical, but at the same time, <laughs> I'm not a fan of this clear dashboard. This is like, um, like a lot, it's too much black for me. It's too much black to make it look pretty. I think the best combination that I found is this one here because this, um, area on the rose is a little bit opened up or I should say this is opened up because of the quote and there's no lines. So it lets the rose or the flower in the background, is that a rose? Maybe it lets the flower shine through a little bit. Um, I think that's the best combination, but I can't see myself using it in my planner. Um, my Franklin planner, I've already got themes set up for each month and I won't be using this. I would have to use it in my, um, my business planner, 
and I, I'm happy with the way my business planner looks right now, so I don't think I would change it. Um, but anyway, so there is this one. This is double-sided, okay? And then also just as reference, this is the back. So if you were to put it on your Jane's Agenda planner and then punch it, um, this would be the front, this is the back, and then you open it up like that. So the one thing that I was having problems with, I think it was the Christmas edition, and then it was last, it was January, I believe. Um, the this was too heavy for me to punch. It wouldn't punch for, for me. Um, these ones are a bit lighter, as Jean had said, so maybe they'll be okay. Um, but my Happy Planner uh, Mushroom Punch, it doesn't work on these as well. So um, I was almost wondering if I should change my subscription box to Punched, like Junior Half Letter. But then if I wanted to do that, I can no longer use my pages in my Franklin Covey. So it's kind of like, hmm, do I stop the subscription or do I change it or what do I do? So I haven't quite decided what I'm planning on doing yet. Um, I'm going to wait and see what March brings. And then if I absolutely feel the same way about March, I think I might cancel because honestly, I'm, I'm kind of wasting money like this. This box, though, although the products are absolutely lovely, they're designed lovely and other people might just love them. I'm finding it harder and harder to find uses for everything. So, and because I've also gathered a lot over the years, but like, this is my favorite product, <laughs> like these, these sticky notes. And that's what, like, you know, nine or $10 out of the whole box. So mm, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm heading in that direction. So the covers that were meant to go underneath the, the plastic pieces here are these ones, I believe, because you get the front and the back side. So you would make it look like this and it opens up, right? And then opens up to that, or you could have it on the other side if you wanted to. So if I were to do that, it looks like that. But to me, that doesn't look very good. And then the other one that's in here is front and back as well, and it's this um, Eiffel Tower picture. So again, this is what this looks like. And again, I don't, I don't know if that looks, it looks too busy to me. I don't think I like that. Um, but there is this one too. This is a vellum, and this is really pretty, and I do like that it doesn't have the year on it. So all it says is February in this pretty French script, and this one would look pretty nice. This one looks nice over top. That one so I mean that's something that you could use um, and then for example if you were to put the vellum over top the flowers that looks really pretty as well and then over the last one that also uh, doesn't look bad so the only thing is is that when you have a vellum on top of something it's nice to have a protector so I think um, this one I, I don't know if that looks good I don't know if I like that right you'd have to take off that one and then it looks okay like that but yeah it's just just not my cup of tea this month and I didn't really have time to check out the entire box otherwise it could potentially be an item that I skipped so I might include this with my items that I'm trying to sell and we'll see how that goes <laughs> but anyway thank you guys so much for watching and again like I'm not trying to be overly critical of any art or any design work it's just for me this this doesn't work for me this month unfortunately um but it is still beautiful. Um, but yeah, I like the color scheme, actually. I do like this pink color of pink. That's like muted rose color. That is actually really pretty. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you are new, please consider subscribing. Click on the bell button to be notified when I upload new content. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.